my name is Prakriti. Thank you so much for sparing some time to talk to Mumbai Mira. Of course. And you know, before we talk all things music, how's quarantine going for you? It's uh, definitely a different kind of thing for me. It never, you know, I never thought in a million years we'd be going through a lockdown uh, globally. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's been new. Yeah, and has it shaped any way? You know how you approach your music. Has it influenced you in any way? Um, I think for me, the quarantine has been definitely a moment for me to reflect on myself. Okay, and you know, moving on to your debut album, Heaven and Hell. It's less than a month away, a month away from release. Yeah, super stoked for it to you know to give it a first listen. <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm just really excited. Um, I feel like I'm really excited to hear what people's favorite like songs are on the album. So I'm really curious to what people are gonna like. Do you have a particular favorite? Um, I a, a song called Bella Donna is one of my favorites. Okay, and you know, could you take us through the entire creative process of producing this album? Because you know, we heard much earlier that you mentioned that your songs were written as early as last year, and it's releasing now. So. Actually, yeah. Um, you know, I've been working on it. I swapped a song earlier this year um, in quarantine, but it's been it's been an evolution. Like ever since Super Psycho came out, I I kind of was busy on tour, and then I finally a year after Super Psycho came out, I kind of just like decided on the album and the title Heaven and Hell and and thought, you know, this is what it's going to be, this is what it's going to sound like. So it's it's been like a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, you're exploring a concept of heaven and hell through your music, through music videos. Where did you get this idea from that this is, you know, what my debut album is going to be? Um, I think definitely, here, let me bring it closer. <laughs> um, I think when, you know, when I was on tour and it was actually during the VMA, um, oh. Yeah, I was listening to Torn. Uh, I was going to sing it at the VMAs, so I was just like, wow, Torn in Between Heaven and Hell, the bridge says that. I'm like, wait, it should be the album title. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like, it looks really good. I mean, like, uh, when you just released Who's Laughing Now last, last month, it's like a total jam. It gives me a massive confidence boost whenever I listen to it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, talking about your music, your songs are so fierce. It's so full of character. Thanks. You know, going forward, years from now, what identity are you hoping to carve in the industry? Um, I think for me, just about, you know, it's all about being confident and, and powerful as a woman and, and inspiring people to be powerful um, as well. So, to, to, you know, to be courageous. And on the note of your artistry, how do you think you've evolved as an artist, as a musician, you know, from releasing Sweet But Psycho to now? Who's laughing now? Um, I think from Sweet But Psycho to Who's Laughing Now, uh, I think probably, you know, it's kind of like a Sweet But Psycho part two. So kind of I've evolved, but I've also like, I love that lane of just powerful lyrics and and bold melodies and lyrics and so i think the anthemic power is still there within the songs and it will be there for a long time to come that's that's lovely to hear we're really looking forward to that i mean it's very rare to see musicians who are that bold who are that strong in the industry and thank i think that's what we all need to hear now thank you yeah music is medicine and even for me so I think it's it's definitely, I take a step back when I'm making music and I think, you know, who is this going to inspire? Who is this going to help? Is this going to help someone through something hard or is this going to make someone feel sad? You know, I don't want to make people feel sad. I want to make people feel happy. Oh, so like no sad songs in your debut album, I'm assuming? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. It's not like sadness. It's more so uplifting. It could be a little darker and edgier. That's what hell is. But not sad. Yeah. I really like, personally speaking, edgy concepts like hit home for me. So it's like, where it's like, I don't think it's, you know, you'd see like in quarantine, we've seen artists go, you know, either really sad and reflective, 
to like super uplifting and the fact that you're bringing something edgy on the table is so new it's so new especially for a debut album thank you so so much um i'm just really excited for everyone to hear yay so like you know on the note of like your messages you know as we said your messages are so strong they carry like you know so am i is like you know your you know your anonymous fit everyone's you know ha- they're unique and you should celebrate that and kings and queens it's a message for equality bringing that in context to the music industry do you think it's in a much better place now um i think you know we still have a lot of work to do to bring equality but you know the more we put out the energy of like empowerment and put out messages of empowerment and put out messages of just fearlessness and not being fearful i think especially for women it's a very important thing to speak your mind yeah and um, any special message for your fans the avatars yes um i love my avatars so much and i hope i can come to india someday very soon um i really can't wait it's a place i've always wanted to come to and uh, you know um hopefully in the near future and i hope you guys love the album and do you have a sort of bucket list that you want to sort of tick off after quarantine's over oh bucket list staying home all the time <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's I mean like staying home is something that we've all gotten like you know used to like I'm sure you know because you go on tour and you're outside most of the Now last year I couldn't wait to come in my own bed and sleep in my own bed and this year I'm like wait I want to travel <laughs> Um you know the tables always turn the least yeah. expected things happen it's when it's always greener on the other side exactly Yeah So but we're hoping that the situation dies down soon and we get to see you in India maybe you yeah. can do a couple of dance moves Yes I can't wait um I'm hoping that soon <laughs> <laughs> Yes fingers crossed next year <laughs> Thank you thank you so much <laughs> Yes that's it from our side thank you so much for talking to us Thank you and we really can't wait to see you soon over here Thank you again thank you for having me and, and thank you for the support <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you.